Hey, so it's been about uh, three weeks since I had the surgery, I think. I, I lost count. I don't even remember. Um, and um, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better, obviously. it's uh, I did have a little bit of bumps in the road as far as um, uh, my pain medication. And I had this weird pain in my shoulder for some reason. I don't know if that even had anything to do with the surgery. But... Um, yeah, after after you get out of the hospital, it's it's really not that bad. You just you do still have to rest because you're still going to be sore and stuff. But um, uh, just as an example, I could go to the gym after a week of being out of the hospital. So it's really amazing how fast you recover. <clears throat> like like I said, you do still have to take it easy, but the pain is really not bad at all. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, as I was saying with the pain medication. I couldn't really take it because if I just took one, I would throw up like five minutes later. So um, I just had to get better without pain medication except for Tylenol. Um, and it's really not bad. I mean, even without the pain medication, you know, as long as you aren't running around or something, then you'll, you'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> the uh, pain is really not bad at all. Um, gonna have to look at this because I have to write things down because I don't even remember what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's right. So yeah, I almost forgot it again. Um, I realized after I watched the video that I, I never even showed you guys the uh, incision or anything. So if you're squeamish, prepare. It's going to be kind of hard to do. This is a weird angle. But right there is the main incision. That's where they took my kidney out, right next to my belly button. Um, it actually doesn't look that much different from when... It was first done in the hospital. It's It's been healed over a little bit with skin. But um, all that gross, sticky looking stuff there is glue. They put over it. They put stitches in, but they also put glue over just to uh, help keep out infection and keep it closed up. Um, those two holes right there are two of the liposcopic holes that they used for the camera. And I guess to just move stuff around. And then finally, there's, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there's one more little hole right there that, um, as you can see, it looks different. That one, the glue peeled off, so that one's starting to heal real good. Um, and, yeah, that's it, you know, it's it's not like a big incision, um, like I thought it was going to be, it's really small. <clears throat> um, once again, I have to look at this thing, because my memory's shit. Um, oh, god damn you. And then my camera shuts off because my phone's stupid. Um, after I left the hospital, which is really cool, they gave me pictures of my kidney, which it's kind of hard to see, but let's do it this way. This will make much more sense. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but... Right there is my artery. Um, all these little orange blob things are fat. I'm such a fat bastard. Um, ah, look at me, I'm disgusting. Um, this, the doctor kind of circled it because the kidney is kind of off screen. But that little red mass right there behind my arteries is where my kidney was that they removed. There's another picture over here, but it's really just the same thing. Um, <clears throat> so that's really cool. They gave me a picture of my kidney so I could see what my kidney looked like. Um, <clears throat> uh, oh, they also gave me, uh, at my follow-up appointment, they also gave me a nice little plaque. A Certificate of Appreciation. Tucker Naden, in honor of your priceless gift of living kidney donation, your gift brings with it the opportunity for renewed health and well-being and represents the highest form of love and compassion for another. Aww. <laughs> because unfortunately my castle that they gave me got foreclosed on because I couldn't afford it, so they just gave me a plaque instead. Um, <clears throat> as for the recipient... Um, from what I hear, the recipient's doing really well. Um, the it's I had you know two recipients kind of because I was on the chain, but um, the 
the one who directly got my kidney is doing really well in Pennsylvania. Um, the doctor said that he, the normal range for um, kidney function is 1.3, and the higher it goes, the worse it is. So if you have a kidney function of like 5, then that means you're going into kidney failure. Um, he said that his kidney function before the surgery was 6.8, and his kidney function after the surgery, or just two hours after, was 1.4. And then 24 hours after, I think he said, it went down to 1.2. So after the donation, he became, you know, over healthy. He became, his kidney function became better than average, better than a normal person's. Um, so that's, that's fantastic. So the person in Pennsylvania is doing great. <clears throat> um, the other recipient, um, from what I hear, her kidney function is also a lot better too, but she's having a bad reaction to all the medication they have to give her to, um, keep her body from rejecting the kidney, which is kind of what I was talking about in my first video, how even though people think donors have it worse, recipients actually do have it worse because they have to deal with all the medications, um, I've talked to her a little bit, and apparently for the first week or so after she got the kidney, as far as I know anyway, um, she's just been sick a lot and throwing up and, you know, blah, blah, blah. She actually feels worse than before when she didn't have a kidney when she was on dialysis. But, you know, she just has to get through that, and then it should be fine. She should go back to normal and everything should start getting a lot better. Um... <clears throat> I went to my follow-up appointment, which was, uh, really simple. It was just, you know, they were making sure I didn't get a hernia or something. The doctor got kind of mad at me because I went to the gym, um, told me how I really shouldn't do that because I might get a hernia, which, you know, don't do that. Don't go to the gym like I did. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. Um, <clears throat> um, oh yeah, he also said... While well, we were at the hospital, he said that um, they're going to be creating like a, a wall, kind of like a wall of donors with everyone's picture up on the wall showing all the people who donated their kidney, um, which will be really cool. So when I go back there in about six months, I'll take a picture of that. Um, I think that's about everything. At least I think it is, unless I'm forgetting something again. No, I think that's everything. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, so it's going really great. As you can see, I'm up and walking around. Um, I can start going to the gym a lot more now. I feel completely fine. So far, everything's good. Um, I know I forgot something. At the follow-up appointment, they took my blood to check my kidney function. And uh, I actually haven't heard back from her yet. But she said that if I don't hear back from her by Monday, then everything should be fine. And it's... Thursday now, so I'm assuming everything is fine, unless I'm dying and she's just not telling me. But anyway, um, so that's that. I'll probably make another video, maybe in about three months or something when I'm fully recovered. Um, I'll let you guys know how I'm doing then. But for now, see ya.